Welcome back to Honda Football. Today's review is going to be on the new football towels from Grip Boost. These are the Grip Boost Football Towel 2.0s. Earlier this week I unboxed these football towels and I went over some of the differences from the original. So in that review, if you saw it earlier this year, I reviewed their original football towel and there's some improvements that uh, I had for the football towel and I'm going to go back a little bit. Uh, but this is the original football towel. This is their 1.0. And uh, my feedback on here was that I love the towel, it was super absorbent, it was long, skinny, this is, you know, the new style now. Uh, but there are some things of like, you know, hey, can you make it a little bit wider, um, it was kind of hard to grip with gloves, uh, can you put a jock tag, uh, can you put Velcro. So this is one that I actually modified, this is their original towel. Um, I put my own Velcro on it so it can stick it inside of my pants. So they've done a lot of changes. Um, to their football towel and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, what makes the 2.0 so much better than the original. So I'm going to use the black towel um, to compare it to the original just so you guys uh, don't get confused. So uh, first thing about this is that the new football towels come in two colors. The original came in white, this is the original here, and the second ones come in white and black. Um, something else you'll notice with the new football towel is it's got the jock tag. So this way you can put your number on it. This is a way to personalize it. No one's going to take your towel. If you have multiple ones, there's going to be no confusion. So I really like the jock tag. Um, they kept the embroidery on here. The embroidery was something I liked in the original, as you can see right here on the white towel. Uh, but on this one, they kept it um, and they embroidered the, uh, or they sewed on the uh, jock tag. Um, something else that I said is can you make it a little bit wider? So the towel is actually about half an inch wider. And that actually does make a difference when you're wearing it, when you're using it. You just have more of the towel to use, whether it's on your visor, on your gloves, uh, to clean the football, what have you. The last part about it is to make the towel longer. Um, and they really made it longer. So you can tell here, uh, this is the towel, the equivalent of it. Um, it's just a tad longer here. Looking at it, you can see it's just a tad longer but the full towel is actually a lot longer. So now you can see just how long the towel is. And why did I want them to make it longer? It was the perfect length if you use this belt loop that's in here. But for me, I don't have belts on any of my football pants. I think you guys know that. You're gonna see some of the posts on my Instagram. Uh, but here I had to put my own Velcro and I put it at the very top and fold it over and in my pants it just became really short. With this, I've got Velcro. I've got the belt loop still. I've got Velcro here. I've got Velcro here. So in case I want to attach it around a belt and not actually slip it through. Um, but then once you put it on this way, um, it's actually still a little bit longer. Um, and that's going to, that's beneficial because you're going to have more reach around for your gloves. You're going to be able to reach around to clean your visor and things like that. Um, it's also easy to pull off. So the reason why I would suggest using the Velcro around the belt loop versus sticking it through here is that if you're you know, running back, for example, a receiver, and you've got a breakaway, and someone grabs your towel, it's not gonna rip the towel, it's not gonna slow you down because this is just gonna break away uh, from your pants and your belt. So that's really why I like the uh, Velcro on this one. So other than that, it's the same super absorbent material. Um, it's great for cleaning visors. This is the best towel um, that I've used for cleaning a visor just because you don't get any of the fibers on the visor. It cleans it um, very well, leaves it with no streaks. Um, the only difference now, or the difference in price between these two is about $2. So this one originally retailed for $10 or $11, and this one is just under $13. So you're paying a little bit more money. I'm um, still cheaper than like majority of the football towels out there. I think most of those, dollar, those towels are 20 bucks. Um, so you're paying for $13. Uh, you're paying $13 for this towel and uh, you, what you're paying for is really just the extra, you know, length, which is going to cost a little bit more for this material. You're paying for the extra Velcro, um, so I think that's a pretty fair price for everything that you're getting in it. Now, the good thing is about Grip Boost, if you check out their website, they actually offer free shipping on all orders. So you can go ahead and order your $13 and you're actually paying $13, you're not paying $20 plus, plus $8 for shipping. Um, so that is the review. You guys can go ahead and check out my Instagram. I posted pics on there of me wearing both the towel and my uniform in all black so you can really see how it looks with the uniform. During my unboxing, a lot of you guys asked me to do a giveaway and Grip Boost has been kind enough to sponsor a giveaway for you guys. So just like last time, there's gonna be five winners and the details, really easy to answer, are below. 
you guys need to answer your emails uh, to be eligible for the giveaway. So once you submit these requirements, I'm gonna choose five winners in one week. Respond to your emails. If you don't respond to your emails, I'm not gonna be able to ship you the towel. So they're gonna come directly from Grip Boost, your choice of color, five towels. This is open to anyone in the US, anyone all over the world. So if you like my reviews, remember to give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.